So I am looking at the T-Mobile 5G router and we are looking at the quick start guide, which is basically saying to place it uh, near a window, preferably the second floor if available, plug it in, the device will power itself in five seconds, your SIMS card is pre-installed. So I have it here. Got it plugged into a power strip over here, and I am going to plug it in. And let's see what happens. Take the little film off the front. All right, plug into power adapter, connect to the gateway, the device will power itself on within five seconds. Pretty sure it's been five seconds. Download the T-Mobile internet app on your smartphone to begin setup your gateway. Da -da 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 -da. That's it? That's it, now I already have the app. Oh wait, there it goes. I don't know if you can see that, but it's saying powering up. All right. Now I already have the app. Can't lay it on the side. I'm trying to see. Download the T-Mobile Internet Mobile app. It says here, learn more. I already downloaded the app. Uh, it is showing I have one, two, three, four, four out of five bars. I'm gonna hit the, the next button. It says devices connected. Okay. You have four messages. English is your preferred language. All right. So it's saying download the T-Mobile Internet mobile app. Doesn't really say much else. Now there is a code in the back. Maybe we have to scan it. I'm assuming the app is gonna give us more details. So let's see if I could bring up the app. T-Mobile Internet, here we go. So I'm starting up the app now. T-Mobile Internet would like to find and connect to devices in your local network. Okay. Set up device. Looks like it's thinking. All right, so it says here we got the 5G gateway. A quick question first, really? On a scale of one to seven, how confident are you that you would be able to complete and seven, come on. Uh, what's in the box, I already know. Location really is everything. Skip video. Let's check your signal direction at your location. This will help, what? Share my location, that's fine with me. Allow while using the app. Confirming location. Signal direction results. Great news, we found your signal. Ideal placement will be on the side of the building nearest the signal by a window and preferred on the top floor. Yeah, 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 got it. Okay, let's connect you to your gateway. The best spot for your gateway, blah, 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 blah. Found the spot. Scan QR code. Next, you'll be prompted to use your phone camera to scan the QR code on the gateway. Okay. And I'll 
Okay. Scanning the QR code. It is thinking connect to power the best spot. Uh, okay. Wait for gateway to start. Wait at least two minutes for your gateway to completely start up. So I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to leave it the two minutes, but it's been longer than that. All right, we are back. I just let it run to two minutes down. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Check gateway status. Look at the LCD screen on the gateway. Is an update in progress. If you need to tap a button to, you may need to tap a button to wake it up. Got you. So it says download. It's not doing anything. Wi-Fi permission. This app uses Wi-Fi to set up your gateway. Please join the T-Mobile Wi-Fi network when prompted. Connect to Wi-Fi manually. Go to the Wi-Fi settings. Connect to the T-Mobile Wi-Fi and enter your password that's located on the gateway label. Okay. Let's take a look. All right, I only see one that says T-Mobile. And apparently there's a password on here. All right, so I see the Wi-Fi name. Where's... Are you kidding me about that password? Hold on. All right, I should be connected. That password was insane. Just saying. Come back to the app. You're almost there. <laughs> really? All right, now that your gateway is ready, you can update your Wi-Fi network name and password. I'm gonna just leave it alone. Skip this step. Skip changing your network and password. Wi-Fi router comes with a preset network, name and password upon setup, change your, skip anyways. Uh, change administrator password. This is the password you will manage your app and log into this app. Administrative password. Definitely going to change that. I'm never going to remember that. Okay, what's going on? Doesn't seem to like my password. Okay. Okay, so that time it took the password, I hope. 
your setup is complete. I'm gonna hit, hit done. And it's saying I have a very good signal, blah, 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 blah. Devices. Connected. Okay, is that supposed to be this device or is that supposed to be my phone? All right, let's look at network, blah, 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 support, more information. Guess that's it. It's saying my connection is very good. I have one device connected, so I guess it's working. Uh, messages, I don't care about messages right now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side here. And let's do a speed test. I think I have an app on here. Yes, I what? Yes, I do. So let's do a quick speed test. So the ping wasn't horrible, that's a 40. All right, that's not bad. Got 139 on the download. Uploads jumping around, but that's still a real good number. I'm surprised. And this is in comparison to what I'm getting from Comcast. My upload from Comcast is 10. I got here 35.9. Now, Comcast, obviously, I have a huge download. The ping at 40, I don't think that's the greatest, but it doesn't seem like it's horrible, the speeds. I'll do one more test. Just to give it another shot here. About the same on the ping. The download speeds. 170. I'm 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 liking the upload speeds quite a bit. 37.7. All right, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. I'm I'm good with that. Now, the object of this is going to be to combine this with my Comcast using Speedify. So those videos will be coming in the future. Take care.